When I was in kindergarten, I lived in an apartment house of corridor access, and there lived a family of a friend who was always playing with me in the same apartment. Me, my mom, my friend, and my friend's mother. We used to hang out with each other often. Then one early dawn, my friend's mom kept hearing an irritating sound outside the front door, so she woke up and went outside. To her surprise, there was an angel of death crawling on all fours in the hallway in front of her eyes, just moving back and forth, on and on. And that irritating sound that she heard was the sound of his black dress being drawn to the floor. She screamed with fright, but it kept crawling slowly in front of the front door, not caring about her at all. And she eventually realized that it was a dream when she soon awoke. The next day, she, of course, got frightened and went to see the shaman lady with my mom. As soon as she told her own story, the lady said something with such a creepy, cold voice. Your son will die soon, and there's no way to save him. You can't change the fate. She got more terrified with anger and got up from her seat hurriedly. But then the shaman said to my mom, and your son will be safe. In the end, they had no choice but to just come back vacantly. A few days later, the four of us were on our way back from the market, as usual. By the time we reached the entrance of the apartment, my friend suddenly ran into the apartment first, saying he had to pee. And I saw the fruit truck parked in the corner of the apartment parking lot, so I ran over there and started to beg my mom to buy some fruit. As she was not about to buy me fruits at all, she just persuaded me to go home quickly. However, somehow I kept wanting those fruits so badly, so I tried not to go back home, standing in front of the truck. My friend, who already just went up to his house, stuck his head out from the railing in the hallway. Then he shouted loudly, saying that the house was locked. After seeing his mom take the key out of her bag, my friend came down again right away. And as soon as he ran towards the apartment entrance, it was the very moment. He was hit by a big van suddenly that rushed from the other side. I don't remember because I didn't see the very moment clearly. But it is said that his whole body flew away with a loud crash. And of course, he died instantly on the spot. I've been thinking so far that my friend had died because his mom had dreamed of the angel of death. But my mom later told me something shuddering. Do you remember how high the corridor railing was then? It was just as high as an adult's chest. It still gives me goosebumps when I think of the moment when he got his head out of the railing.